All right, we're uh, back on the trail at Unukoi Gap. That's where we left uh, off last time. We got uh, two, two big mountains to go over the next four or five miles. It's eight o'clock. This is the earliest start I've had. It's actually up at like 5.45, but we checked out of the hotel. I took a zero yesterday. Day six was a zero. So uh, this is day seven now. Had a really relaxing time. I just laid in bed pretty much for 36 hours. I did do some editing stuff. Ate some food, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty refreshed. Had a nice zero, so I'm ready to hit it. And I got an early start today, so it's 8 o'clock on the trail. Uh, maybe I'll get a... What am I trying to get my first 20-mile day in? Because I had two 15-mile days, day one and day five. But I felt like I could have got close to 20 if I had if I had more time. So key to doing big miles is starting early. Yeah, first uh, first mountain out of the way, first mile. So that didn't rain too much. Uh, looked like it was going to be a real rainy morning, but uh, it was just a little bit at the beginning. Made it to the top of Rocky Mountain. That's what this is, mountain's called. Next mountain is a big one, a big, even bigger, called Trey Mountain. So I had to climb 45 flights of stairs to get up here, about 1.4 miles from Unicoi. And then we got to go down this mountain and straight back up. <laughs> Met a cool hiker there. He said he got sick. He's uh, he's walking pretty fast, a lot faster than me. But uh, he uh, he got sick and he just recovered. Stomach bug. Letting some of my stuff dry out from the rain this morning. I'm taking a little break. This beautiful spot. And if it blows away, there's no getting it back. It's straight on down. However, I do have the tarp. Jimmy rig there and uh, it sure isn't though. Getting some sun on my feet, airing them out. Airing out my socks, my shoes. making great time today only 11 o'clock 11 18 and we've done five miles up two mountains not quite fin we got a little more ways to go to finish this mountain but we've had some nice breaks relaxing beautiful day Oh, that air con air we had a couple hours ago is gone. It's just hot and sticky now. God damn, Trey Mountain about kicked my ass. Man, this I think was the hardest mountain yet in Georgia. There's sassafras, there's blood mountain, but. See, you just got sweat pouring, pouring off of me. Looks like we're back down to cooler weather. I took a little like 30 minute break, had a bunch of candy bars, uh, had some more coffee, feeling pretty good. It takes me about two cups of coffee, but I already got close to 10 miles in today. Uh, OG is at Diggs Creek Gap, which is like nine miles, I think. It's uh, almost going on two. I don't know if I'll be able to make it that far, maybe. I don't know if there's any more, I think there's one more big mountain to climb. I'm gonna make it that far. But uh, the weather is uh, good, so. Uh, it was like hot when I was climbing Trey Mountain, but it's cooled off. There's like a nice breeze. I'm just about out of water. Perfect timing. There was a source of water back at a uh, Trey shelter, but I'm refraining from getting sh water from uh, around shelters just because, uh, yeah, I don't think that's a good idea right now. I had to come down a pretty big hill for this water. 
but uh, just about out of water. There's not a whole lot of water sources on this trail. It's uh, way up that hill, so uh, you can't mess around with water. One thing you could do when it's hot is uh, take your hat, whatever kind of hat it is, whether baseball hat, put it in the water, and that will cool you off. Looks like we got some storm clouds over yonder. Oh my, just camping here tonight, calling it a day, taking it easy. I know I just had a zero yesterday, but you know you don't have to hike all day. You can hike half the day, camp, enjoy yourself. I did get 10 miles in. Fortunately, a couple of those miles were off trail miles. It's going on four o'clock, almost four o'clock. Making very slow progress today, but the trail's been pretty easy the last like hour. Uh, I think I do got a climb coming up though, but so I'm making good miles right now. I'm up to like 11.5 miles today. I feel actually really good. Uh, those mountains were a struggle, but once I'm like kind of go more of a even landscape, I, I feel really good. So uh, I feel like I could maybe do 20 today, but I'm running out of uh, daylight because it's gonna start getting pretty dark at eight i only got four more hours and as slow as i go the problem is i go slow and i got probably more mountains ahead that even if i were trying to do like say two miles per hour plus i don't know if i could do that i am feeling pretty good now though so let's see what happens See something new every day. It's a weird tree. It's like bent over. It's all natural by the looks of it. And it looks like it's still healthy. It's just a pretty weird tree. Beautiful view there, but usually when I see a big mountain like that, it means I have to climb it. <laughs> I know there's one big mountain up ahead. Oh, look at this. Centipede side of the game. I've actually seen a lot of those. Here we gotta go up Kelly Knob. This is an infamous mountain, infamous climb. Uh, of course, every time I go up a mountain, the sun comes up, damn it. <laughs> it's like, it's been, brother's been toying with me all day. I had to film this cause uh, I'm literally walking like super slow up this mountain. And if I didn't film it, you wouldn't believe it, but that's just how fast I'm walking, you know? basically like this but we're getting up the mountain hopefully in a couple weeks i can do these mountains faster i got better cardio we made it to the top of kelly's knob that was the toughest mountain yet of course the sun's gotta come out every time every time i climb a mountain because it was going back and forth between sun and clouds and stuff cool cooler weather oh my god man oh man Beautiful view. Take a little break here, get some emergency calories. Cool little bird. And uh, probably keep going for a little while, maybe set up camp soon. This down is not as decline is not as bad as Unigo Gap, uh, because you got this kind of nice steps and stuff. But it's still very. Uh, I think it's even bigger as far as the descent. 
So uh, 1.6 miles of descent will be at uh, Dick's Creek Gap, and that's where we'll be camping tonight because there ain't a lot of daylight left. Banged my knees somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, eight o'clock. This is absolutely mental, man. I'm about to lose my mind out here. Just a uh, never ending, never ending trail. I'm point like six miles from my destination, but there's a reward for pushing this hard early on, but you pay a big price. And uh, shit, I don't know. Maybe I just got to slow up and do like eight miles a day or something for a while. Take it easy, you know eight miles a day and uh because this is like crushing my morale these kind of uh long days this is the worst this this is the hardest day of hiking i've had in my life i mean i've had some 25 mile days but this is just unbelievable finally made it dick's creek gap well, a lot of traffic on this road I got a uh, dinner cooked right here. It's some rice. Not a lot of daylight left. <laughs> and my tent's right over there. That's my tent. There you go, guys. Here's my dinner, instant rice. Sitting here with OG. He took a guy into the town he's head on. All right, guys. Um, you're going to sleep here. It's about 9.30. It was a pretty good day. I mean, it was really... Uh, tiring but i think i made some huge gains and uh, tomorrow i might have to do it again we'll see what or it might be a short day we'll see i'll catch y'all later good night